Hello everybody and welcome to That's Football. Should Nick Pope have been sent off against Liverpool and is it right to appeal the red card so he can play in Newcastle's monumentous game next week in the Carabao Cup final? Lots of people have had their say on this. Get your comments in below. What a weekend of Premier League action it was. We'll talk a bit about that in a bit, but let's fly straight into this. First of all, VAR last week was an absolute joke. This week, I think in the main, we've not really had anything major happen. The big call was the red card for Nick Pope in Liverpool's win at Newcastle last night. Uh, straight red card, ball over the top. I think it was Alisson. Salah's running through. Nick Pope runs out, goes to head it. Ball gets caught in between two hands. Bit of a Superman dive and it stops and deprives Salah a, a goal. Um, some people are saying he's not the last man because there's a Newcastle, def that Newcastle defender there. I've played the game. That Newcastle defender may be level with Salah, but he hasn't got the block on the goal. It's a, he's deprived a goal-scoring opportunity. It is a red card, 100%. I've watched it, even claws the ball back, whether that's a reaction or not. It's a red card. There is no appeal there. If if, look, I've seen people like Carragher and other people saying it's a red card, but it's unfortunate that he has to miss the final. A rule is a rule. A rule is a rule. A lie is a lie. And a red card is a red card. And that is the rule. It's a, it's, a, it's a red card and you miss the next game and you miss the cup final. It is unfortunate for Nick Pope. But at the end of the day, if we're talking about appealing things just because Nick Pope's a nice guy and we feel sorry for him... Casemiro is missing another game, three games in a row for Manchester United in the Premier League because he basically did to Will Hughes what we all used to have when we were kids. You know, you remember what it was like, lads, don't you? You know, you've got to put your tie on and your mum comes along, maybe, maybe your dad, to be fair. I mean, let's not be sexist. Your mum comes along, lifts your collar up, puts your shirt on, tie on, and then you walk away. I mean, that's basically what Casemiro got a red card for. I mean, he was basically just you know, adjusting Will Hughes's collar. It, it, it wasn't violent and he, there was no appeal for it. Um, there cannot be appeals based on, you know, it's unfortunate that he's going to miss the cup final. So I think anybody who thinks that, that there's, there's any grounds for an appeal there is deluded because it, you can't appeal things based on we feel sorry for them. Oh, it would be nice if they got to play in the final. You know, it'd be nice if I got to play in the final. Should I ring Ten Hag and say, oh, I really would love to play in the final. Can I start? You know, it's not going to happen. It's not about nice and fair, is it? It's about what the rules are. However, there is one thing I would offer, uh, and I do feel sorry for Nick Pope not playing in the final. As a Manchester United fan, obviously it's a big thing that Karius is probably going to play in goal, but I wouldn't have minded Nick Pope playing in goal. Um, I, I didn't mind Dean Henderson playing against us when he was on loan at Forest. You know, it doesn't really bother me. Obviously, it makes the job harder, but look, maybe, maybe I'm just being a little bit empathetic there because I know he can't play anyway, but... You might get a different me if he was allowed to have an appeal. But what I will say is, and this is the big thing on this, how can it be that Harry Maguire gets two yellow cards in the early rounds of the Carabao Cup and gets suspended for the next Carabao Cup game, not the next Premier League game? Bruno Gamerez gets a red card in the Carabao Cup semi-final, but is available for the final because he's serving his suspension in the next three Premier League games. And then Nick Pope gets sent off in a Premier League game, but misses the Carabao Cup final. There's a bit of an issue here. Now, people will say, well, that's just the rules. And it is the rules, but it's a bit silly. Casemiro played against Barcelona on Thursday night, but didn't play against Leeds and won't play against Leicester. Why? Because his suspension is for domestic football because he adjusted Will Hughes' collar, but he can still play in the Champions League. Harry Maguire, as I said, gets two yellow cards in the Carabao Cup and therefore gets a suspension for the Carabao Cup next game. But Bruno Gamares gets red carded in the Carabao Cup, misses three Premier League games. Nick Pope gets a red card in the Premier League and misses the Carabao Cup. To me, where's the consistency there and where's the logic? And people will be screaming going, well, it's obvious. Red cards, you miss all tournaments. Yellow cards, you just miss the next game in that tournament. Well, again, that doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Personally, I think in this scenario, you either you get two, two yellow cards in any domestic football and you miss the next game. You get a red card in any domestic game and you miss the next games. Or you keep it exclusive to that tournament. And, I mean, in that situation, that could have benefited Newcastle because at the end of the day, if Nick Pope gets a red card in a Premier League game and the Carabao Cup final is next week, why can't he just play that and then miss the next three Premier League games? It works, doesn't it? I suppose it doesn't work for Bruno Gomerez who gets sent off in a Carabao Cup semi-final 
can play the Premier League games but misses the final and then the next two games next year. It gets a bit complicated there. But th I do think there is a bit of a contradiction there and I think those rules are a little bit silly. And I remember at the time, even before these Newcastle red cards, I was slightly confused why Harry Maguire was suspended because he's hardly played this season anyway. And I was like, where's he picked up the yellow cards to miss this game? He didn't play in the last game. But apparently it was because of Carabao Cup. So look, Nick, pa Nick, Nick, Nick Pope's red card is justified. It's very unfortunate, um, but on, on the other way, I think they're fortunate that Bruno Gomerez can play in the final when he got sent off in a semi-final and can use up his suspension on domestic games. So, look, maybe Newcastle, with one hand, we taketh away, and with another hand, we deliver Bruno Gomerez. So, you know, I don't think they can have much complaints, but it was a red card for me. Um, it's one of those red cards where you do feel sorry for them because they've not really done anything wrong, but they have. You know, they've deprived a goal. It's a, you know, that's what it is. It's the dep deprivation of a goal, really. Salah definitely would have scored that and uh, it doesn't matter whether who's the last man. But, uh, you know, away from that, I thought it was a fantastic weekend of Premier League football. Um, Liverpool are bang in the top four race now. There is no doubt about that. Um, we spoke about this last week. Um, they, if they go and win at Newcastle, six points behind them, but with a game in hand, win that. Newcastle's next game in the Premier League is Man City away. There's a real opportunity. I mean, New Newcastle just can't win this year. I think they've won one in their last six, haven't they, Premier League games. So they're struggling. They have got an advantage in one way because they're only playing one game a week, but they don't seem to be making taking advantage of that. So the top four races opened up. And look, uh, let's not rule out Spurs or Fulham or anybody else. You know, let's respect the fact that this Premier League is fantastic. But I think Liverpool with the know-how and belief, and, I mean, look, Liverpool are a good side and they've got a fantastic manager. They've been unrecognisable this season. But it was I've always said Liverpool will get top four. You know, I've got a bet with Ben Foster who's just smug, who thinks he's gonna win it. And I'm like, it had looked like they were gonna win he was gonna win it. And but you know, you've got to stand by what you believe. And I just think that, that Liverpool team, it was very unlikely that they were gonna play this bad for nine months. And I think the issue is that Fair play to Manchester United. We've gone and made a big buffer between us and Liverpool. Newcastle haven't. They've left themselves as the exploitable fourth place spot, which everybody's going to be coming for them. Um, have they got the squad to do it? I wasn't impressed with what they did in January, considering they're so wealthy. I think they could have done a little bit more. Uh, I certainly don't think Gordon from Everton is the sort of signing you make to guarantee yourself top four for 50 million quid. But they, I still think they can do it. I think Newcastle themselves are in a bit of a blip at the moment and maybe they can galvanise themselves. But it's a difficult couple of weeks. It could be a great couple of weeks for them, but it could be a difficult one. Carabao Cup final against United, Premier League game against Man City. Win both of those games, you've got a trophy and you've got a really good chance of top four. Lose both of those games, you haven't got a trophy and you've opened the door up for everybody to just start pulling you into this race for top four. So I think it's going to be really interesting to see how it goes. But... I still stand by what I said. I think Liverpool will get top four. I don't think they're out of the woods yet. I don't think they were brilliant against Newcastle. But I think at some point with Liverpool, it's going to start to click. And they are the team that's got the know-how. They did it a couple of years ago. They had a bad season, but they, 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 they popped into the top four right at the end, didn't they? Massive game, which we're doing a watch-along for on Tuesday against Real Madrid as well. Um, you know That'll be a real test of, of where Liverpool are at. Um, I don't think anybody fancies them to go through against the holders. But if they did their season could end with a top four spot and a, and a deep run into the Champions League. Because one thing about Liverpool, never write them off in the Champions League. Anyway, get your comments in below what your thoughts. Uh, hopefully we've covered it all. Uh, but give us a smash of a like on the video and subscribe. And don't forget this afternoon, it's United stand Manchester United against Leicester. I'll speak to you all in a bit.